Today, I'm going to answer the most frequently asked question in this channel. What is the best security camera? Let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. A lot of people have been asking, what is the best security camera? I wish it is easy to answer that question. I've been testing and reviewing cameras for a while now, and I can tell you that there is no perfect security camera. There are pros and cons on each of them. But in this video, we will narrow it down. And to do this, we will divide the security cameras into categories. So there are the wired and VR systems, which I only have reviewed a few of them at this time. The Reolink, Swan, and Ubiquiti's Unify Protect. We also have the wired Wi-Fi cameras category, which has two subcategories, outdoor and indoor cameras. Then we have the battery-powered Wi-Fi security cameras. And lastly, we have to separate the video doorbells as a separate category. Also, I will include the link of the cameras that I will mention here in the description down below. Now, to get this out of the way, wired NVR or DVR systems are the most reliable and dependable as to security cameras. That is why banks, casinos, and even your local grocery store have them, instead of using Wi-Fi cameras. But these systems are generally used for surveillance, which is recording 24-7. And unless you are watching the monitor all the time, they are mostly used to review what happened after the fact. They are excellent as to video quality because they record to a local hard drive and doesn't need a lot of compression as compared to Wi-Fi cameras. The feature that NVR systems are not good at, at this time anyways, are notifications. They mostly use pixel-based motion detection, so swaying leaves, changes in light, and shadows will cause them to send you a motion notification. So a lot of false positives that you will be forced to turn that feature off. Companies like Swan has started selling NVR systems with cameras that use PIR motion detection added to the traditional pixel-based detection, which senses heat movement. And I had high hopes initially, but when summer came about, I started getting a lot of false notifications that I eventually turned that feature off, and just continued to set their cameras to record 24-7. The phone apps for NVR cameras are also not reliable and not that user-friendly. These systems also needs to be installed and wiring them is the hardest part because you will be in your attic and crawl spaces routing the wires. Also, not all of you have the luxury of being able to drill holes and have attic and crawl spaces. So I have tested the Reolink 4 megapixel NVR system, Swan 4K thermal sensing NVR, and the Unify Protect from Ubiquity. And out of the three, the best one for me for now anyways would be the Swan 4K. A long way from perfect, but it does have a pretty good spotlight camera, which records in full color when the spotlights are on. And if there's ambient lighting, it turns off its night vision to record in full color, which is pretty decent quality. This camera also has an alarm and has two-way audio. Cons of this system is that the phone app is mostly for viewing the cameras, and you're not able to change the camera or NVR settings via the app. The PIR or thermal sensing is not that accurate, and you will get a lot of false notifications. Now, I'm pretty sure that this can be fixed via firmware update, because a lot of my outdoor Wi-Fi cameras uses PIR detection, and they are pretty close to accurate in detecting motion. So, the next category will be the best wired Wi-Fi security camera for outdoors. And this will be my Ring floodlight camera. I had this camera for more than 2 years now and it still works and looks like it is still new. Now to install this, it will need a junction box and needs to be wired directly. But compared to all the Wi-Fi cameras I have, this camera hasn't given me any issues. It is the most accurate in motion detection, which it uses both PIR and algorithm in detecting motion. It is pretty instant in motion notifications and will record in 1 minute increments and will continue to record and notify you every minute as long as the motion persists. At night when it senses motion, it will trigger the floodlights and will record in full color. It also has manually activated siren if you want to scare off would-be intruders. Now, it is not perfect. First, it needs a good and stable Wi-Fi signal. 
I have to add a Wi-Fi extender of my setup inside the garage just to make it to work reliably. The camera is by the way outside on top of my garage door overlooking my garage driveway. Two years with this setup and my old Netgear extender survived the summer 115 degree heat inside a garage and the ring floodlight which is totally exposed to the elements. Next, the video quality can be better. There are a lot of other 1080p cameras that have better video quality than the ring. Also, the two-way talk is not dependable. Sometimes it works, sometimes there's a lot of cracking, echo, and static. Also, just like any Ring cameras, you will need a cloud subscription if you need to watch and review recorded footage. Still one of the cheapest at $3 or $30 a year for one camera or $10 or $100 a year for unlimited cameras. Next category is the best Wi-Fi security camera for indoors. Well, how about the cheapest too? Yep, it is the Wisecam. This is only 26 bucks at Amazon, but it has a lot of features that rivals more expensive brands. It is also very versatile that I have made videos using this camera and setting it up using a hotspot in your phone and a power bank as for power supply. Because it is a pretty small camera, you can take it with you and use it when you're traveling and staying in hotels so as to protect your valuables in the hotel while you're out. I will link those videos in the description down below if you want to check it out. Now, my setup at home is this. I install a micro SD card on it and set it to record when there is motion. I normally don't turn on the send notifications unless I know there is nobody home. All motion recordings, I mean the whole footage, it will start to record a minute before it sends the motion and about 2 minutes after the motion has stopped. So you will not miss any footage. If you don't put a micro SD card, you will get the free 12 second cloud recording of the motion event. So if there is no micro SD card, then that's all you get, 12 seconds. But if there is a micro SD card, then you will get the whole footage in the card. So that means the motion event will be recorded twice, one to the cloud and the other one to the local SD card which is good. Also, you can set the sound detection on the camera so that it can listen and give you notifications when it hears loud sounds or when your smoke or carbon monoxide alarm goes off. As to the cons, there's not a lot, but we have a 12 to 15 second delay in motion notification. But because I set this up only inside the house, it's really not a big issue for me. Outdoor Wi-Fi cameras are the ones that I want instant notifications. Also, this camera uses pixel-based motion detection. And if you use this camera to monitor the outside, either placing it in a weatherproof case or following my through-the-glass window setup, which by the way, I will also link the video down below, you will get some false notifications. You can minimize some of it by using the zoning feature, but you will still get some. Now, for the best battery-powered Wi-Fi camera, I'm going to give it to the new Eufy Cam E. It has one charge equals to one year of battery life. Has better video and audio quality as compared to the Arlo Pro 2. So this is the video clarity test for the UP Cam E at 10 feet, 15 feet, 20, and has local storage of the footage using the micro SD card in the base station. I will link my original review and also my comparison video comparing it to the Arlo Pro 2 in the description down below. A close contender on this category is the Reolink Argos Eco, which is also the cheapest battery-powered Wi-Fi camera at 80 bucks. but I have to give it to the Eufy Cam E because it records to the base station and the Eco records to the micro SD card installed in the camera itself which if somebody removes, steals, and destroys the camera, then you don't have any footage. You can sign up for the Reolink Cloud, which you can have a backup of the footage, but if you have more than one camera, then you have to pay for the subscription. Last category that we are going to talk about are video doorbells. 
and I'm actually going to give this to the Nest Hello. I know a lot of you, especially my longtime subscribers, will be surprised, but when Nest did an update last December, this doorbell is better. I haven't noticed any offline issues. The alert motion notification is around 8 seconds and cool off is around 5 minutes. It was in my front door since December and I just removed it lately when I was testing the Eufy doorbell, which is also pretty good and is a tie with the Ring Pro for a very close second. So the three features that I like about the Nest Hello, the thumbnail GIF preview, the integration with a Google Hub which is almost instantaneous when somebody pushes the doorbell. And the two-way talk is also pretty good. This is aside from being able to record 24-7, which by the way is the only Wi-Fi camera that I have that streams and uploads 24-7. I normally don't recommend this because of the internet bandwidth that it uses. But as long as it is the only one, then that should be fine. And the video quality of the Nest is way better because of HDR, which works, and the 30 frames per second recording. One of the cons with the Nest Hello is that it needs a subscription, which is the same as the Ring Pro. Now the very close second is the Ring Pro, which has been dependable since I had it and is currently in my front door. Just because I'm testing the Ring Smart Lighting and Integration, which if these products streamlines properly, the Ring Pro will be back as my best pick. Some of the issues I have with it though is two-way talk is not that great and some instances of delay in loading the camera when somebody pushes the doorbell. A new contender and is currently a tie as the runner-up with the Ring Pro is the Eufy doorbell. This is the only video doorbell that I have tested that has free local recording. And I have some issues when I did my initial review like the video quality even in HDR is washed out in bright areas. It is not recording in 2K as advertised and the local recording is only 4GB and is built in inside the camera and is not removable or upgradable. Since my review, Eufy has addressed some of the issues and they are working on the fixes. I can see now that the video quality has improved and they have plans to integrate the Eufy base station and recording if you have the Eufy Cam E cameras. Well, these are my top picks on security cameras as of mid-2019. And I might do another one in the end of the year, then mid-2020, so on and so forth. Because there are new models and new brands of Wi-Fi cameras popping up. Anyways, if you have questions, comment down below. And I hope you liked this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click that little bell icon so that you'll get notified when I upload best product videos like this video product reviews, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.